Hey everyone, welcome to another video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to use a 3DFX uh, wrapper that'll let you play the 3DFX games without actually having a uh, you know 3DFX card. Uh, and in order to be able to do this, you're going to need a program called NGlide. So go ahead and follow the link in the description. It is going to take you to this page right here. We're going to go ahead and follow this download uh, link right here. We're going to choose NGlide from this section here. Read more section. And now we're going to go ahead and click on this spot right here where it says download. Now the latest version is 2.10. So go ahead and download that one. That should work with, uh, you know, any of the OSs listed there from XP all the way up to 11. So go ahead and click download that and put that in your uh, folder. And now what we're going to do, we are going to go ahead and get that installed. So just go ahead to the folder where you have that. And this is really super simple. You literally just go ahead and double click and install the program there's really nothing else to, left to do unless you want to go in there and change uh, some of the configuration settings or the resolutions for the games but this one is super simple just go ahead and click and just go and install that program so i'm going to go ahead and here and launch a game that uses the uh, 3dfx option so we're going to go ahead and launch that And now, as you can see, you do see the 3D effects logo. Now, like I was telling you earlier, with this, you can go ahead and, uh, you know, change the resolution to your games. So you guys are probably seeing a smaller window right now because the uh, resolution set on it right now is a default. So what I'm going to do is show you how to go into the configurator. We're going to go ahead and set that to the resolution that we want. So go ahead and click on Start Menu. We're going to go and just launch NGlide. You're going to be greeted with this window here. So from here, you can pick the video back end. You can do DirectX, Vulkan, or you can just leave it automatic. And this is the spot where we're going to change the resolution. So we're going to do 1920 by 1080. So we're going to pick that there. You can do the aspect ratio, keep entire screen, correction, integral rendering, and integral scaling. So that all depends on what you want to do. The refresh rate, you can change it to whatever you want or leave it by the app default. And the gamma correct. And or gamma correction you can change here or you can also uh, choose to turn the 3dfx logo off or on so once you're do done with that go ahead and click apply we're going to go ahead and relaunch the game and it should launch it now in full screen so as you can see the widescreen now took effect so it should be showing up in widescreen right now we'll go ahead and launch the game here for a couple of seconds so you can go ahead and see the uh the high definition on there So as you can see, that looks nice and crisp on the graphics. There we go. So as you can see, everything's running fine and it is running in HD. So you can probably go up, you know, as high as your video card will go. So, you know, you're not restricted to just doing the 1980 or the default of the actual game. You can set that to whatever you want as long as your computer can handle it. So with that, we're done with the video. If you guys make use of that, please go ahead and uh, leave me a thumbs up or leave uh, some comments or uh, questions on the comment section. We'll see you guys on the next video. If you haven't subscribed, please do so and we'll see you soon.